Hey guys! So do not mind the mess behind my room right now because I've been really busy with school recently. I don't really have the time to pack up. So in today's video, I'm just gonna share uh, how you should start a skincare routine because I've noticed that like people around me, they kind of like ask me how they should like start a skincare routine because they are like clueless on like how they should actually start and like build their skincare routine so in this video I'm just gonna share with you how you should start on it without further ado let's get started so the first thing that you should definitely have is a toner a toner will help to make sure that you exfoliate your skin and also remove all the dead skin on your on the surface of your face so on the surface of your face on the surface of your skin so that uh, your products will sink in better so if you have oily skin, I recommend you to, to find a toner that's not really like stripping the oil off your skin but instead it helps to like uh, functions that says that it helps to close your pore although your pores cannot really be closed but there can be a way to like make your pores look smaller If you have oily skin, you should look for something that is sebum controlling because that will help you make sure that your pores are clean enough if not, it will get clogged and then it will cause acne so if you have combination skin like me, I just recently found out that my skin is actually more to the combination side instead of the oily side and it's more dehydrated instead of oily. So if you have the same problem with me, I suggest that you should just stick to a, a moisturizing toner because at this stage, when you have combination skin, your T-zone is oily while your cheeks may be dry or normal or slightly oily but not that oily if you happen to have a drier cheeks then you should stick to a more moisturizing toner for me my cheeks are i would say a bit normal to a little oily i would say normal to a little oily so i just focus on hydrating so that my face wouldn't produce as much sebum because it lacks hydration and moisturization one product that I'm using right now and I have found that it helps my skin better especially with my acne in this area is the Innisfree green tea balancing skin I bought this to try because uh, green tea has green tea is a natural ox antioxidant that helps our skin to like uh, build the natural barrier to protect the skin so it definitely helps the skin a lot especially with acne prone skin and sensitive skin so I use this product and this has definitely helped to moisturize my skin a lot and my skin is no longer that shiny skin that feels dehydrated inside if you have dry skin then you should just stick to a very moisturizing one N never use an exfoliating one for dry skin every day because it would cause your skin to flake if you use it too much so the second thing that you need is a serum a serum will help to hydrate your skin and hydration and moisturization are two different things moisturization is to lock in the hydration that you have in your skin but moisturizer it will just help lock in the moisture you have in your skin instead of hydrating your skin so before you lock in the moisture you want to hydrate your skin enough so that there is moisture to lock in for the serum I I really love this serum. I've been using it for about a few years. It's the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. This is the limited edition which is the bigger bottle. I believe the normal bottle is about this size. The smaller bottle is this. The This is how the usual bottle looks like. So compared to that, it's about two times the size here. This is the limited edition one is 160ml. The smaller one is 80ml. I will definitely recommend you to get this because you will definitely feel a difference in your skin. Your skin will just feel so smooth and soft the next day you wake up. So the third thing is moisturization or if you have drier skin, then you want to use another essence or ampoule that will give your skin even more hydration because your skin will definitely need it and it will thank you later on otherwise it will just flake and produce even more sebum and might lead to break out and also remember to have eye cream with you if you find that your eye areas are especially dry because the eye area is very delicate and thin and that's where the wrinkles often appear first so 
the last thing that you should have is a moisturizer I use a uh, lotion as a moisturizer the Innisfree Sika lotion but I don't really find that that's like really really very good so I wouldn't really recommend it I've mentioned it in my previous video and also I'll mention it again that I really love the um, Bija Sika balm because it's definitely good for moisturizing and it's also good as a spot treatment for your acne and it helps with acne fading and also your acne scars and all the acne stuff and whatnot. So that is definitely one of the holy grail product that I would like to recommend you guys to. So the one bonus product that I think that you should have as a like a backup plan in your skincare routine is a sleeping mask. What a sleeping mask does is that when you sleep, all the magic just like happens on your face when you sleep. So it will hydrate your skin and also soften your skin just firms your skin or whatever depending on the sleeping pack that you buy so the sleeping pack that I've been using is the green tea sleeping pack from Innisfree this sleeping pack is kind of like a special sleeping pack and I've realized that quite a few people talk about it and they said that it is kind of like a dupe uh, a dupe to the Laneige water bank water bank water bank sleeping mask so it looks like that I'm not sure if you can see it. Hang on, let me increase my brightness. So it looks like that. It has like white beads in it. And it melts. The white bead melts into your face as you rub it around your face. If you know that you will not have enough sleep the next day or if you find that your skin needs more hydration and refresh refreshment, then you should just apply a sleeping mag after sleeping mag a sleeping mask after you apply your moisturizer so that it will help to just like lock in everything like lock in the every product into your skin so that the, the next day you'll wake up with soft fresh skin and especially if you have dry skin this will definitely help you it has helped my combination skin and my very dehydrated skin the next day I'll wake up with like dewy and glowy skin which is like every girl's dream or even every guy's dream and no this video is not sponsored I wish it was sponsored because I really love these products and I would love to work with Innisfree if I can if I ever get the chance to because I really love their skincare I think this is like the road shop brand that I love the most for skincare for Etude House I've tried out a few I feel like Etude House are still better with their are still better with their makeup products and are more well known for their makeup products instead of their skincare products there are some awesome skincare products that they have but I find that it doesn't really suit me so one thing I forgot to mention is that to all teenagers out there you should focus more on hydration instead of whitening and oil you, should, you can use a whitening ampoule in your skincare if you have acne scars that you want to fade but you should still focus on hydration as the number one important because hydration will help fade your acne scars faster because it helps generate your skin cells to renew faster when you reach an older age your skin cell renewal system will slow down so it's best if you just like try your best to like make make it as fast as you can now if you want to fade your acne scars because when you get older the rate will be slower and it will be and it will take longer for the scars to heal so you should just start now and also it helps prevent wink, wrinkles it helps prevent wrinkles so skincare is definitely like kind of like a thing that you should enjoy instead of a hassle and also remember to put masks that are hydrating such as the hydrochloric acid I don't know if I pronounce it correctly but the acid and uh, the snail mucus is definitely like a must have for hydration because it helps to really just like make your skin very plump and smooth and moisturized it's just like hydrating your skin so if you are lazy then you can just use masks like that but do not use masks daily because I've watched this like show and they said that putting masks daily is actually not a good thing because it will harm your skin or something so that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to click like and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!